As we stand here on Sunday, the 16th of November 2025, there's a certain electricity in the air, a sense that something remarkable is about to unfold. The days are growing shorter, and the chill in the breeze is unmistakable, hinting that winter is no longer just a distant thought, but a reality settling in. Across the country, people are waking up to frosted windows in the soft, silvery light that only November can bring. Anticipation is building across the United Kingdom. In bustling cities and quiet villages alike, conversations are turning to the weather as everyone wonders what the coming week will bring. There's a collective pause, a moment of suspense, as we all look skyward and brace for what's next. The air is crisp, hinting at winter, but what's coming is far from ordinary. This isn't just another cold snap. There's a sense that the weather is about to take a dramatic turn. The landscape is already shifting, with leaves edged in frost and the first hints of ice glistening on morning pavements. We're tracking two potential snow events that could bring the first widespread snowfall of the season. Meteorologists are watching the charts closely, as computer models begin to align and suggest that significant snow could blanket large parts of the country, from the Scottish Highlands to the rolling hills of the south. The week ahead will see a dramatic clash between Arctic air and milder Atlantic influences, setting the stage for significant snowfall. As frigid air sweeps down from the north and collides with moisture-laden systems from the west, the ingredients for heavy snow are coming together. This battle of air masses could lead to rapidly changing conditions, with snow showers turning to rain and back again in a matter of hours. For snow lovers, it's a week to watch. For others, it's time to prepare for possible travel disruption. Roads could become treacherous, public transport may face delays, and daily routines might be upended by the arrival of wintry weather. It's a reminder to check travel updates, stock up on essentials, and keep an eye on the latest forecasts. We'll break down the science, the timeline, and what the models are showing for both midweek and weekend snow chances. From the first flurries to the possibility of heavier accumulations, we'll explore how these systems are developing and what they could mean for your area. Our team is analyzing the latest data to provide the clearest picture possible. Is this a fleeting taste of winter or the start of a truly cold season? Will the snow linger transforming the landscape for days or will milder air return and wash it all away? These are the questions on everyone's mind as we head into a week of uncertainty and excitement. Let's dive into the forecast and find out. We'll guide you through the latest updates, help you understand what to expect, and offer tips on how to stay safe and prepared no matter what the weather brings. The weather is about to become the main topic of conversation across the nation. Whether you're hoping for a snow day or dreading the disruption, this week promises to be one of suspense, surprises, and the unmistakable magic that only winter can bring. At the moment, the UK is basking under the influence of a dominant high-pressure system. This weather pattern is responsible for the calm, settled conditions we're experiencing, clear skies, dry air, and a noticeable lack of storms or rain. High pressure acts like a protective shield, keeping unsettled weather at bay and creating a tranquil atmosphere across the country. But while it may seem uneventful, this period of calm is actually setting the stage for a dramatic shift in our weather story. Soon this high-pressure system will begin to move northwest, drifting away from the UK and positioning itself over Greenland. This shift is far from ordinary. It's a key move that will open the door to a completely different weather pattern for us. When the high settles over Greenland, it becomes what meteorologists call a blocking high. This acts like a giant wall in the atmosphere, forcing the jet stream, the fast-moving river of air, high above us, to bend and twist. Instead of bringing in milder air from the Atlantic, the jet stream is pushed south, allowing icy Arctic air to surge down towards the UK. As this frigid air arrives, temperatures across the UK will tumble. Daytime highs will struggle to reach even a few degrees above freezing, and overnight lows could plunge well below zero. You'll notice frost forming on cars and rooftops, and the air will feel noticeably sharper and colder. Along with the cold, expect biting winds to develop, especially in exposed areas. These winds will make it feel even colder than the thermometer suggests, and you'll want to bundle up if you're heading outside. With the cold air firmly in place, the UK is now primed for wintry weather. 
all that's needed is a weather system to bring in some moisture. If that happens, the stage is perfectly set for snow to fall, transforming the landscape into a winter wonderland. Without this crucial cold air, any precipitation that arrives would simply fall as rain, leaving the ground wet but snow-free. It's the combination of Arctic chill and incoming moisture that creates the potential for snow. But now, with the Arctic air mass locked in, the UK is on high alert. As soon as the first low-pressure system sweeps in from the Atlantic, it will collide with the cold air. And that's when snow is most likely to develop, sometimes suddenly and in significant amounts. Meteorologists are closely monitoring the latest weather models, looking for signs of snow potential in the days ahead. Forecasts are being updated frequently as new data comes in, and forecasters are preparing for the possibility of disruptive winter weather. All eyes are now on the Atlantic, where the first snowmaking system is beginning to take shape. As it approaches, the UK could be in for its first significant snowfall of the season, thanks to the perfect setup created by high pressure and Arctic air. As Arctic air settles in, a low-pressure system from the Atlantic is set to arrive Tuesday into Wednesday, our first snow event. The key question, will the cold air hold as the low brings moisture, or will milder air sneak in? Scotland and Northern England look set for accumulating snow, especially on higher ground, with travel disruption likely. Further south, the situation is less certain. A small shift in the lows track could mean rain or a surprise snowfall for the Midlands and Wales. The transition zone is notoriously hard to predict, making Wednesday into Thursday a period to watch closely. Central UK could see a surprise snow event if the cold air wins out. Everything depends on the temperature battle just above the surface. Predicting snow in the UK is always a knife-edge affair. To gauge the midweek snow risk, we turn to the major weather models, each offering a unique perspective on what could unfold across the UK. These models are the backbone of modern forecasting, using vast amounts of data and complex algorithms to simulate the atmosphere's behavior. But as we'll see, even the best models can disagree, especially when it comes to predicting snow. The ECMWF and GFS, two of the most trusted global models, both paint a wintry picture for midweek. They suggest a broad swath of snow stretching from Scotland and northern England, with the potential for flakes to reach as far south as the Midlands and parts of Wales. Their outputs show accumulating snow especially over higher ground but also hint at the possibility of lower level impacts if the system intensifies. The GFS goes a step further, hinting at the risk of wintry showers pushing all the way to the east coast. It even suggests that snow could funnel inland through the Cheshire Gap a well-known pathway for cold air and precipitation to move westward, sometimes catching communities off guard with sudden bursts of snow. Meanwhile, the German Icon model takes a more conservative stance. It keeps most of the snow confined to the higher ground, think the Scottish Highlands and the Pennines, while lower elevations see little more than cold rain or sleet. This model's output reflects a scenario where the coldest air doesn't quite make it far enough south for widespread snow at lower levels. The UK Met Office model, which is often considered the gold standard for local detail, broadly agrees with the idea of snow in the north. However, it's notably cautious about how far south the snow might reach, drawing a tentative boundary that leaves the Midlands and southern regions in a state of suspense. This divergence between models is completely normal, especially several days ahead of an event. It highlights the inherent uncertainty in forecasting, as small differences in temperature, moisture, or storm track can mean the difference between rain and a significant snowfall. Most models do agree that northern areas are likely to see snow, but the exact position of the southern boundary remains a moving target. Each new model run can nudge this line north or south, making a big difference for communities on the edge. If the system takes a slightly more southerly track, the Midlands and Wales could be in for a more significant snowfall event, with the potential for travel disruption and picturesque winter scenes. On the other hand, a more northerly track would keep the heaviest snow confined to Scotland and northern England. That's why forecasters will be watching every new model run closely, looking for subtle shifts and fresh clues. As the event draws nearer, confidence will grow and the picture will become clearer. Until then, it's a tale of four forecasts, each with its own story to tell. As the midweek system clears, attention shifts to a potentially more dramatic snow event for Friday and Saturday. 
cold Arctic air will still be in place as a vigorous low-pressure system approaches from the southwest, bringing milder, moist air. Where these air masses collide we could see heavy snow and strong winds, a possible blizzard. The highest risk zone stretches from the Midlands to the south, possibly including London. If the cold air holds, heavy snow and disruption are likely. If not, it could turn to rain. The forecast is finely balanced with a 50-50 chance of a major snowstorm. The next few days of model runs will be critical in determining the outcome. A busy pre-Christmas weekend could see widespread travel problems if the snow materializes. Stay tuned as the details become clearer. The weekend forecast is a battleground, with major models in sharp disagreement. The GFS has alternated between milder, rainy outcomes and colder, snowy scenarios. The UK Met Office model has shown the potential for a major snow event impacting the Midlands, South, and even London. The final outcome depends on tiny atmospheric details, track, intensity, and depth of cold air. A small shift in the storm's path could mean snow or rain for millions. At this range, a definitive forecast isn't possible, but the ingredients for a major snow event are present. The risk zone runs along the central spine of the country. The suspense will continue for a few more days as models try to agree. For now, it's a true 50-50 call. Predicting snow in the UK is notoriously difficult. Our island's proximity to the Atlantic means even a slight wind shift can turn snow to rain in hours. The exact track of low-pressure systems is critical. A small change can affect millions. Hills and mountains add local complexity, influencing where snow falls and accumulates. The temperature profile of the atmosphere matters, a warm layer aloft can melt snow before it reaches the ground. These subtle details are hard for even supercomputers to resolve days in advance. That's why snow forecasts can change right up to the last minute. It's not a failure of science, but a reflection of the atmosphere's complexity. Staying updated is key, as forecasts will be refined as events approach. Beyond next week, long-range forecasts hint at a bigger story. Meteorologists are watching for a sudden stratospheric warming, SSW event high above the Arctic. An SSW can disrupt the polar vortex, sending Arctic air south into Europe and the UK. This year, early signs of stratospheric warming could mean a colder-than-average December. Blocking high pressure may persist, increasing the risk of repeated cold spells and snow events. While not a guarantee of a white Christmas, the odds for a memorable winter are rising. We'll be watching these signals closely as the season unfolds. The week ahead promises some of the most dynamic weather the UK has seen in years. A major pattern change will drag Arctic air across the country, setting the stage for two significant snow events. The first, midweek, targets Scotland, Northern England and possibly the Midlands and Wales. The second over the weekend could bring a blizzard to the Midlands and South, including London. Uncertainty remains high, so staying updated is essential. For some, it's the thrill of the first snowfall. For others, a warning to prepare for disruption. With hints of a colder December ahead, this could be just the beginning. Keep your hats and gloves ready, the weather is about to get very interesting.